welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title of today's video, I am actually bringing you all a collective haul of everything I have bought over the past month or so because this month, March, has been a very expensive month and I've not even realised that basically me and Scott have actually booked a holiday so it has been kind of expensive because we had to get our passport sorted, we've also had to pay for like the the flights and the hotel and everything so it's been quite expensive however it has been an excuse to buy some holiday bits and bobs so of course I am going to include every the kind of bits and bobs I've got for the holiday as well because it is exciting you know and maybe you guys are going on holiday soon so you can kind of get some inspiration from what I bought and maybe you can buy it for yourself but before I get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up and nice to get to a like goal of 30 likes on this video also please make sure to leave a comment if you're early if you're excited to watch a video you know if you enjoyed the video please make sure to leave a comment and also subscribe because I will be doing the giveaway at 4,000 subscribers I have nearly bought everything for the giveaway so I'm just kind of waiting around now so please subscribe and without further ado let's go on the video this is another video where I deeply apologise about the patchy tan on the neck and my awful makeup I literally rushed my makeup because I could not be bothered honestly I've been so tired today because I've been up since 5 and yeah it's just very tiring but anyway I am going to get on with the haul so first thing i'm just gonna get it out of the way because it's quite big <laughs> and obviously it's a bit awkward to hold and show to the camera so if you know me you will know that i am a makeup artist i obviously have to stock a lot of makeup products and i do have to stock a lot of different styles of eyelashes and now i use two different brands i use tatty lashes and peaches and cream lashes however i decided to make quite a big order on tatty lashes so i ordered 20 you know so i ordered 40 pairs because if you order 20, you automatically get 60% off. So I ordered 40 just because it's double the amount and it's better stocking up for longer. And I also got an acrylic stand, which has tiny lashes on it. So it may not be quite easy to show, but it's basically just this stand. It's got all the eyelashes on it. I've got 40 different pairs. I've got a wide variation of like a bigger ones, a TL1. I've got some more kind of simple glam ones. These ones are probably some of my favourites, I love these. These are the bitches black, how nice are they? I love a mix of fake hair and real hair because obviously you know, not everyone is keen on having the real animal hair on the eyes. But yeah, but tiny lashes, I absolutely love them. I have been using tiny lashes on myself and clients for a few years now and I'm always impressed with the quality so I was really happy to obviously make an order again and it was time to buy a stand because I feel like every makeup artist has to have one to kind of prove like you're a proper makeup artist. I don't know if anyone else agrees with me here but I think it just kind of makes you look more professional having like a stand and it's kind of advertisement for the company as well but it does kind of make you look better when you have like a certain type of lashes. I also use two different brands but yeah so all of these actually come to £186 which I don't think was too bad. The stand it was £45 which is quite expensive. I did order the largest size but I don't think it was too bad. I'm actually getting a refund on this as well funny enough because it actually arrived with slightly damaged. It does have a crack on the back. You won't be able to see it because it's got eyelashes there but the box was slightly damaged so I'm actually getting a refund on this hopefully but yeah it's very good quality and the lashes are very nice. Next up I have some clothing items. So I actually have quite a few different clothes from different shops actually so I'm quite excited because a lot of this stuff is for holiday because obviously I'm going on holiday soon. You know, it's quite an exciting time. An excuse to buy the new clothes pretty much. But honestly, TK Maxx at the moment is so good for clothes because they actually stock a lot of Zara clothes. And I absolutely love Zara. You know, you don't have one where I live. So when we go to Newcastle or, or Liverpool, I'm just like a different city that has one. It's just amazing to go there, obviously. But... I actually got these red kind of gingham pants and they are slightly flared, the only appetite flared type of pants and these are in a size extra small um, and these were 9 99 I don't know what the price was meant to be but oh my god these actually fit me perfectly on the waist and they look so nice 
here with this white bodysuit actually so as you can see this bodysuit and these would go absolutely amazing together speaking of this cardigan i actually got this from the h&m for seven pounds it's like a little yellow thing it's really cute so yeah i got that as well honestly i have actually been spending so much money but it's fine but yeah but these pants as soon as i saw them i was like i, I need to get them i didn't try them on in the shop just because our time was up on the car nearly because they all seem to spend so much time in TK Maxx because it's just so good for everything like they also like they honestly stock so much stuff but yeah but these are the pants and I am five foot one and I was really worried in case they were going to be too long for me because that's the only thing with pants like especially flared pants they can look too big and too long so it was actually nice to find something yeah, that is petite and shorter for someone yeah, like myself but I am going to wear heels with them anyway but yeah, these are so nice and it's something out of my comfort zone so I just want to push the boat out next up I kind of have a blazer type thing it's not like a long blazer it's like a cropped blazer so it's from I saw it first it's a, a dark green and cream the blazer from I saw it first as I've already said I don't think I've ever ordered off there before and I was kind of nervous because I actually ordered a cord. This is part of a cord, as I've just said. So it's got yeah, this a really nice blazer, and it also comes yeah, with this really nice this short. Like it's like a skirt. It's like a skirt and a and shorts kind of mixed together. But they were absolutely massive on me, and I did not suit them. I think I got them in the size eight because they actually sold out in the six. So, so that's probably why. But so yeah, the six was sold out, so that was really annoying. But I managed to get this in the six and i wasn't going to keep it because i was sending the shorts back when i tried it on with something else it actually looks really cool i don't know if i'm going to take this on holiday with me i'll i'm gonna to have to see what outfits i'm bringing because at the moment it looks like i'm bringing my whole wardrobe this has got like shoulder pads it's actually really nice and warm to wear and it's obviously good for putting on top of like a bodysuit this bodysuit Honestly, go to everything, but like it's so true. Like, you'll just go on top of this with the black pants or jeans. I can dress it up and dress it down. And I think this was fifteen pounds, and I think it's a good price because it's really good quality, and it's also part of a cord. So I suppose if you've got the cord, I think it'd be thirty pounds, but it's so worth it. Honestly, really good quality, and I'm I am definitely going to be ordering from my site first again, one hundred percent. And then from Primark, I've got this really cute the blue like crop top so it's just like a basic crop top but it's actually a woolly material so it's slightly warmer and this is in the two excess because sometimes primark clothing an extra small can be like a size eight or ten i think it varies and then like an other extra small could be like a size four type size I, like you do find it in a lot of shops the same size clothing could be totally different sizes it's so weird but yeah i got this in a two excess because it does look fairly kind of elasticated and i think my mum actually saw this for me actually and it's actually really nice so again i don't know if i'm going to take it on holiday but yeah, the holiday is just an excuse to buy new clothes really i'm not gonna lie i'm sure a lot of girls can relate <laughs> but anyway yeah so it's really good quality six pounds primer clothing honestly it's so good at the moment so i would highly recommend you have a look like for little crop tops and stuff you know it's really good then i have a cord is this from new look i think it's from new look yeah now i never shop in new look really mainly because our new look in town is absolutely tiny it used to be in a massive building and then they moved and it's actually shocking now like it's more kind of mum vibe clothes i think now it's not really my kind of style as such i mean i used to love it when i was around nine or ten i used to go now all the time but basically anyway you know mum actually ordered even this online actually so it took a cupboard so it's this the type of crop top it's like a similar style to the primark one it's like a brighter pink but for holiday it'll look beautiful and then it comes with like the matching skirt it needs both in a size six and it's like an elasticated waist and it actually has a slit on the left hand side of the leg and i tried this on and i was thinking to myself I'm going to look absolutely ridiculous in this, like, it'll be way too long, it'll swamp me, but actually, it, it looks really nice, and I, I'm really excited to wear this for holiday, so, I, I think it only come to, is it £12 for both of them, I think, or maybe £15, I'm not too sure, so I actually went into town, 
yesterday and picked up a couple of things from TK Maxx. Um, but unfortunately, I do not suit them, so I am sending them back. But basically, I got some juicy joggers. I am absolutely devastated that these are too big. But they're basically baby blue. You're gonna have you're the cuffed ankle because I had two different styles. I had the flared ones, and then they had these ones. Now I held the flared ones up to me, and they're made for like a really tall person. The see that in a size small, but if you have the size small shorts and they fit me really nicely, but for some reason these were really big on the waist. Um, they are a lovely colour and there was actually some hot pink that you see shorts in a medium in TK Maxx and I was absolutely devastated that they were in a small because I would have got them. Yeah, but these were 29.99. They've got the juicy logo on there. I am absolutely devastated that they are too big, as I said, because I love the colour and they're actually so comfortable. So they will be going back you know, next go into town next week, I think. Yeah, it's a shame, but it is what it is. You can't have everything your way, you know. But yeah, the TK Maxx it does stock a lot of juicy stuff, and you know I'm not complaining. And then speaking of Zara from earlier, I found these shorts. Now every time. I have been into Zara, these have been there and I've always said oh I really like them yeah, but this time they were in the sale for £6, I don't know how much they were meant to be, yeah, probably £12 or something but, oh no £7.99, okay then, yeah so they are a lemony colour mid rise relaxed shorts, now these were way too big on the waist, I was really sad because I was always going to take this on holiday yeah, to fit me, but they're just so nice. I was just really devastated that they, that they were too big. £6 for some Zara short is really good, so they are going back, unfortunately. I'm not very happy about it because I was hoping it'd fit me, but you know what can you do? Yeah, what can you do when things are too big? You have to send them back. So I've got the receipt <laughs> and they will be going back next week. Also in Primark, in the home section, I never really go in the home section just because I've got a lot of home bits in my room and you know I don't need anything else because I don't want to clutter my room up I think I've got a lot of stuff you know but basically for my beauty room at the salon I actually found these great uh, storage kind of boxes and Scott he was actually going to get some because it's good for like he He's basically opening a shop in his cake area, so please wish him good luck. I'm sure he'll be fine, you know, he'll be great. But basically, he wanted some of these. So, I actually got three of these. I got the two the big ones and a small one. And I'm going to use these for kind of storing bits and bobs in, like your wax pots, wax strips, uh, makeup products and stuff. Like, it's going to be handy for stock that... I've, I've not kind of used yet, if that makes any sense, but the large one for £3 each and the small one was one fifty. so I think it's a really good price and these actually stack up as well, uh, if I can try and sort it out, yeah, they actually they kind of stack on top of each other, so yeah, that's kind of cool, look at that, yeah, they're really cool and these were really trendy back in the day, I actually got yeah, this really cute florally bandana, so I did obviously style it really well, but obviously I haven't sorted out of my hair, but yeah, this was, I can't remember how much it is, was it like 2 50 or something, I'm not too sure. The Primark have a lot of these in here, and yeah, they're actually really cute for summertime, so yeah, yeah, my plan is to wear this for holiday, I'm hoping I, I've, I've done that right, <laughs> kind of, it is kind of cute actually, yeah, it's a lovely colour, it's a very summery colour, it's got like a pink, orange, a bit of white. I do like that a lot, and that was two pounds or two fifty. I'm not too sure if I have a lot of different styles. And then I also got these really cute bikini bottoms. Now these are absolutely gorgeous. These are three pounds. The only annoying thing is in my Primark, they do not stock the matching top. Like, are I mental? Are they actually mental? I'm on a mission to find a matching top. If not, I have to order just like a bikini top very similar to this, but this is in a size six. How cute is that? For holiday, a nice tan, even though I never tan on holiday, but oh well. 
Oh, it'd be amazing. It'll be beautiful. Then, from Primark, you know, they're the three pound thongs and never fail. So a pound each. How gorgeous are these? Oh, I love them so much. So it's a lovely blue, yellow, a coral colour, extra small. These are my favourite type of ones because they're just so comfortable. Now you know what underwear I wear, but you know what, Primark is amazing. You need Victoria's Secret and you've got Primark, you know, it's so good. And then, these are even cuter, I think. Lilac, white, and mint green. The quality of these is insane. I absolutely love Primark for underwear. Underwear from Primark, you can't beat it. It's actually so good. Like, I highly, highly recommend that. In b and I was actually so shocked. It's obviously b and you stock a lot of Maybelline and the Rimmel Foundations. Now, all my clients I like using the Maybelline Superstay Foundation and I've never seen it in b and before. But basically, look what they had. I was shocked. And I think they were only 4 49 each. So, I got the shades... 21 nude beige because this is a popular colour and 32 the golden I do use well the brand of foundation as well like the Beauty and MAC they have really high coverage and just really good quality foundations so yeah I highly recommend and I think they're meant to be £12 each so that is a £6 save no £8 saving what a bargain love them so then from TK Maxx I've got as a weaver brush, it is the 134 Luke's Powder Fusion, uh, fu fusion brush. Um, I won't use this for powder, obviously. I'll probably use it for like highlighter or something, but how pretty is that? I've never actually owned a, a weaver brush before, but that was 4 99 which I don't think was too bad. RRP is 11 so I'm saving for myself here £6. So I'll go to Aussie TK Max. You can't beat it. Then, I actually made all the peaches and cream the other day. Yeah, got some new makeup. Is on. If you are a makeup lover or a makeup artist, I am sure you guys have heard of Peaches and Cream. It's really good quality makeup products, and it isn't overly expensive either. Like it's really good quality for the money. So I got five lip liners in a pack because their lip liners are insane. They're all kind of nude brown colours, but they're the most popular shades. So I've got a borderline, punchline. <laughs> Hotline, Hotline Bling, uh, Feline and Praline, Praline. Yeah, they were 15 altogether or three pounds each. I hope you want to work it out. And then got four eye pigments because oh my god, peach and cream eye pigments are amazing. So I actually saw the makeup artist kind of locally to me. He uses one of their clients, and I, I love it. So it's a Wild West pigment. Honestly, so beautiful. I then also seen someone use the Wish. It's like a the goldy kind of matte shimmery colour. It's like in between the matte and the shimmer. So beautiful. I also stocked up on Gatsby because this is my most favourite pigment. It's it is really, it's really popular, but it's good for like for glam and weddings. And then I also got sea salt because it was actually on offer and it's a lovely blue colour because I love a bit of blue. I do love myself a bit of blue. Then I also got some makeup brushes. I've got the crease brush. It's on a bit of an angle and it's the PC53 brush, if you want to get it. I also got a really small eyeliner brush. PC46 as well, because that's really small and good for like eyeliner and stuff, because it's, like, it's good having like a tiny little brush. Then also got a Dawn foundation brush, PC26. And this brush is so good for foundation. Like, look at that. Look at that. It just looks so good. The fresh brushes are the way to go. And then finally, I got the Peaches and Cream Sculpting Bronzer in the light to medium because I actually have the cream contour and it's actually insane so I needed to try out their powder plus my bronzer has actually run out so I might use it for myself I'm not too sure but I'll decide but it'll be really good for contouring. The next up of my collection of purchases Dior so I basically got sent this so technically I, I haven't bought it but obviously the company who sent me it, I absolutely love you guys. They're so lovely to work with and I genuinely have loved the both of the handbags that they've sent me. There will already be a video of you in this anyway, but it is the Christian Dior Mini 
Your Lady Dior bag. It's so cute. And I love the colour. Just how how pretty. So it's the, the micro one. So it's absolutely tiny. But it'll be so cute to take on holiday. It comes with a dust bag. So I can keep it protected in the suitcase. How pretty. Obsessed. It's a stunning. I absolutely love the Lady Dior handbags. So yeah. I'm very happy with that. So thank you. So your e-bags in the bit. I will have a discount code I'll put on the screen now because I've completely forgotten what it is to be honest. You know, you the joys of having a terrible memory. A skincare piece from TK Maxx, it's 3 99 it's a glow cleanse by the brand the Biovini, the Bivoni, I don't know, it's the Barcelona, it does have the retinol in it and that it can be bad for if you're having like an eyebrow wax because like it can it make your skin kind of cut like it can kind of rip your skin yeah it's a bit weird but basically it's like a, a pore exfoliating <coughs> oh my god my voice a pore exfoliating glow cleanse a cleanser deep facial cleanser I, i've not actually used it yet because i'm actually using my cerave cleanser which will probably be, be used for ages but oh my god that smells nice Mmm, it smells really good. It kind of smells like vanilla. I've never seen this brand before, but I mean, it is Spanish, so it's probably a wire because you probably don't have it in the UK. But yeah, it's a 250ml, is it? Let's have a look. Um, oh no, 120ml. <laughs> yeah, what's that one about? Yeah, but anyway, yeah, I love that. I, I will try it out soon, hopefully. And see how it is, pretty much. I did also stock up on the Primark by Stella Clinton Waters because they're £2, 500ml, and it's just, just saving unnecessary trips to go to Primark, pretty much. And this stuff is really good. If you get it in your eye, it can sting a little bit. That's your own doing, really, isn't it? So, yeah, but I love this. The My Stella Clinton Water is so much better for your skin. You need some makeup wipes because makeup wipes can dry out your skin. The final few things this shopping haul so this is stuff for holiday. and some people may find this boring but it's toiletries so i'll start off with the most exciting thing the fox tan the rapid elixir i think that's how you call it it sounds like elixir doesn't it but elixir i think and i have used this for two holidays so far because i am the type of person who will more likely burn than tan on holidays so how i've been using this i put my sun cream on and then the amount of sun cream has soaked in for a little bit i'll put this on top and it does make me tan like i do i do get the tan lines when using this so it does tan me even if i still look pale i still tan with it and it is quite expensive it's 14.99 but it does last for a couple of holidays i mean i'm only going for a week this might it lasts for the three or four holidays. It's cruelty free. It also smells really good as well, and it's also it's also made in Australia. I love it, and it does honestly help your tan. You've been seeing this advertised, and you've been thinking of getting it. Highly recommend because it's so worth it. Then I got some sun cream and after sun because obviously essentials on holiday. You cannot go on holiday without it unless you want to burn and potentially get skin cancer. I know it's quite like well okay, but you know. It, it's true sun cream spf you need to have it and after sun is good for kind of cooling your skin down you know kind of renewing it yes yeah, so i got that from body care actually a home bargain i can't remember but yeah sun cream is quite expensive but yeah, these two together were 350 so it was a good price so i'm hoping it'll work it is spf 30 hopefully it'll work and then i got some shower gel it's the original sauce sweet rhubarb and raspberry it smells so good for all this stuff it smells insane yeah the original sauce shower gels are really good i'd say like i like using them in the shower and it's probably one of the best scents obsessed with that and then finally for this haul exciting as it's ever gonna get herbal essences the bio renew the repair argan oil vegan shampoo why did that rhyme <laughs> anyway this stuff is honestly so good like i will never go back to any other shampoo like 
I have tried all sorts of shampoos. If this stuff does not make my hair oily because there's nothing worse than when a shampoo makes your hair look greasy after washing your hair. But now this shampoo, I could leave my hair without going for the wash for two to three days at the most. I used to have to wash my hair every other day but now I've kind of trained my hair like every two or three days depending on what I've been doing and stuff obviously. So good and this is the smaller bottle. I got this from Poundland for £2 so it isn't exactly a pound but it's still a good price. Here is the end of my huge shopping haul. I feel as if I have spent <laughs> hundreds. I probably have to be honest. Well yeah, I obviously have because those eyelashes were over £180 weren't they but yeah I've spent a lot of money you know luckily I am in the position to be able to afford to treat myself I mean I want to go on a holiday and the holiday was expensive I think I think we've still got around £500-£600 to pay so that's going to be in my bank balance absolutely wrecked after this video but yes I enjoy spending my money as you can tell treating myself every now and then and the business you know, it's just, it's good to be able to spend on yourself. Even if you think to yourself, oh, I'm trying to save money. But if you see something you like, you know, just go for it. Like, you're not holding back in life, guys. You know, like, we only live once, you know. I know it's a bit cringy saying that, but it is, it is true. It is true at the end of the day. But if you guys have enjoyed this shopping haul, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below. Also, subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.